Hi friend, sadly there are folks that when they need to change the date on a new drawing, they need to go to every page layout and manually change each date on each title block. Is there a way to make a smart title block in AutoCAD so that it updates its information automatically? Let's find out. So, um, a quick introduction for today's live stream. Again, we're gonna create a smart title block that we can use in any of our drawings. And the size of our title block in this case is gonna be 11 by 17 inches. Um, but again, you can follow along and create the size uh, that you need. I like to start from whatever there is already. So, and there is a title block already that AutoCAD provides us. So, and we're gonna modify that again to don't waste time. So to start, let's go here and let's click over here and open uh, browse templates. And this way we can find uh, many different templates that AutoCAD already provides that. And in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna open the Imperial Architecture template um, because I am in the United States, but you can pick Imperial, um, sorry, uh, yeah, Imperial Mechanical or Metric Architecture, depending on your needs. So again, I'm gonna open this template. And the reason why I'm doing this again is to save time creating my title block. Again, I don't want to waste time redrawing something that AutoCAD already provides uh, provide us. So let's start with this. Now, an important thing to know here is that this title block, if we select it, and you can see as a title block, architectural, and if we right click on this layout, we can pick the page setup manager and we will see that the size is 24 by 36 inches, just for our knowledge, right? Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is select the title block and use the shortcut Control Shift and C to copy base or you know the the title block from this point. So I'm gonna click like so, and then I'm gonna delete this title block because I don't need it anymore. So what I'm gonna do is go to Model Space, and over here I'm gonna paste what I just uh, copied using the shortcut control V. So at this point, what I like to do always is place my title block at 0, 0, origin point. And to do that, I'm gonna simply type 0, 0, 0 and press enter. Okay, so before we proceed modifying this title block to fill our to fit our needs, in this case, an 11 by 17 inches uh, title block, I like to give you a quick explanation about uh, what are the best practices of using title blocks. So most of the time we use a title block again as a regular block. And the reason people use this, uh, that's one way of using it, is uh, of course to update the block and all of the rest of the information will update. So we don't have to manually uh, change in information of our title block. But that's mostly used if you worked with many layouts. For example, if you have, if you, uh, your workflow in AutoCAD requires you to work on different many layouts. So that's a good way to use a title block as a block and use it for all of your layouts, right? But the other way of using a title block is using it as an XREF. And this is the way that we're gonna go over this tutorial. And the reason is when you use it as an XREF, um, it is because you probably have many drawings, um, many different drawings separately. So you don't put your drawings here on each layout. So that's why a title block is used as an XREF. Um, so we're gonna do that and show you why it's so beneficial to do it like so, okay? So 
Now that we have our title block over here, uh, we can explode it using the explode command or with shortcut X and press enter. So at this point, um, what I want to do is of course modify my size of my sheet to 11 by 17. Right now you can see that the size is uh, around three feet. Uh, so let's use the stretch command uh, with this shortcut S and let's stretch this from this point by clicking like so and then using my ortho mode so i'm going to activate it and i'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and right click and pick from so the reason i picked from is because i want from this point all the way up here to be 17 inches like so so i'll press enter and then the other way I want it to be 11 inches. So I'm going to stretch again, S, enter, and then I stretch this part like so. Click this point, again, shift, and right click, and pick from. And from this point over here, I want it to be up 11 inches and press enter. All right. So that's the correct size for our 11 by 17 inches. And now let's um, modify it to fit our needs. So I don't need this information over here. So I'm going to simply erase it using the delete key on my keyboard. And from here, uh, the first thing I want to do is I don't like to have a border that shows or print on my title blocks because uh, depending on the printer, it might not print. So what I like to do is select all of these lines over here and join them using the J shortcut for join and then like so. So now what I'm going to do is select this and change the layer from the layer palette to something that doesn't print. It can be no print or it can be also on dev points. So I'm going to pick dev points like so. And to differentiate it from the other layer, I'm going to change the color of the dev points layer. So I'm going to click over here on colors and then pick uh, something like 17 for the color and click OK. So now I know I can see uh, visually that this is a dev point layer that is not going to print on my drawing. All right. So let's keep moving and finish this up again. We're doing this to save some time because if there is already a title block that AutoCAD is providing us, why we have to start from zero. All right. So let's keep moving. Um, over here, um, I don't like the layout of this uh, information. What I like to do is erase this line and this text over here. And I'm going to then um, this information, the revision, it's important, but since this is a small uh, paper size, I like to have it horizontally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the side using the regular move command, and then I'm going to rotate it using the regular rotate command like so, and let like that. So I'm going to keep it there for a second before I finish this up. And what I'd like to do next is uh, using the stretch uh, command with its shortcut S, I'm going to stretch uh, this title block from here all the way up like so. And then I'm going to stretch it from this point all the way to here like so. All right. Then what I don't like is that we have so many lines over here. We're going to get rid of them. So I'm going to get rid of this line using, you know, the delete key on my keyboard. And then I'm going to stretch again using the stretch command. I'm going to go from here and stretch this part like so. So I'm going to stretch it all the way up here. And then I can erase this line that I don't need it anymore like so. Okay. So another thing that I like to do is, again, I have so many lines here, one, two, three, four. I don't need that. 
And also over here in this part, we're gonna place the logo information or the logo image. Um, so let's get rid of this general notes. And again, I'm gonna use the stretch command to simply stretch this part all the way up like so, okay? Can get rid of this line now. And then what I like to do is connect these lines. So I'm gonna use it, use the fillet command with its shortcut F, and then I'm gonna fillet this part like so. So my title box is looking better now. I'm gonna do the same at the bottom, fillet. I'm gonna press enter and connect those two lines like so. At this point, um, I can erase this line and then keep stretching objects. I'm gonna stretch this part like that all the way down to this other line like so, okay? So at this point, um, what I like to do is, of course, I'm gonna copy this line up so it can be completed like so. And then I'm gonna place this information that it is important uh, somewhere here in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is create some space and the way I'm gonna do it is, again, since this is an 11 by 17 sheet, I'm gonna rotate these two informations um, in a horizontal, uh, sorry, in a vertical way. I'm gonna use the TO shortcut for the T orient. And then I'm gonna say from here to here like so. So at this point, I can move my information using the regular move command and I'm gonna place it over here, like so, okay? So again, using the stretch command, let's make some space over here um, so we can fit our revision, uh, like so. So our revision is right here. Let's uh, move it. Again, using the regular move command and let's place it over here on the corner like so. So at this point, what I like to do is, this is a too long of a line, right now it's two inches, that's a lot, it's taking a lot of space. So I'm gonna stretch that using the stretch command again, and I'm gonna stretch this, and I'm gonna say from this point, uh, holding shift and right click, and I'm gonna say from this point, I want it to be 1.5 inches, like so. So this will give me a nice um, same space or equal space over here for the revision. So uh, at this point, I'm gonna use the extend command with its shortcut EX to extend this line and this other line like so, okay? So finally, I'm gonna copy this line you see in the regular copy command, like so. And then I'm gonna copy it from this point to this point, like so. And then I'm gonna offset it using the O shortcut. And I'm gonna offset it the distance of the same distance. So I'm gonna click here and here, and then offset it this up, like so. So at this point, I can simply clean it up a bit using the trim shortcut with PR, and then I'm gonna clean this up and this other part. So here's where my logo is gonna be. So right now, uh, this firm name address information is too long. So I'm gonna stretch this from this and move it down a, a little bit like so, All right? So one of the final things that we're gonna do here is, um, you know, you can change the information as your needs. For instance, for the scale, I don't like to add the scale information over here because I'll use a title block for each um, drawing. And also because I have many different viewports on my drawing. So what I'm gonna do is change the scale and pick the uh, sheet name. So I'm gonna put sheet and then uh, I'm gonna select this part and right click and change the case to lowercase like so. So that's one thing, sheet and then date. 
project yes that's important uh, this is also important the revision dates and here is where my logo is gonna be so at this point we finished our 11 by 17 title block and we are ready to uh, start populating the information but we'll continue that in the second part of creating a self-updating title block in AutoCAD and as always this live stream came thanks to my supporters people who support my work uh, either on Patreon or as a YouTube member thank you very much for your support and if you want to expand your lessons and even save more time you can check out this video on your screen i'll see you there